Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Osama Messi Sophia. You're welcome. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Today we are going to be making this trendy Instagram gilly. I will be making it in an auto gilly. And for for this tutorial, we need about six lines of ashoke and needle and thread and your scissors. First, I will take two lines to make my base. Now to get the base, I'll make that with about two lines. You can see this is a V shape or to get a base. I have a video already on how to make this. You can go check it out. After that, I will take another two lines of ash okay and cut into two and fold into two and cut out. I'll be using this to make ropes. Ropes that I'll be using as plates for this tutorial. So now I will take this rope and place it on top of the base to measure out where I'm going to be making plates. I'll measure out to the handle on both sides of the base. As you can see. Now I'll keep the base and put it outside and start folding the rope all round to make the plates and fold in all the rope is exhausted now after making it i'll put it aside and I use another one strand of ashoke, that is one line of ashoke, to make another extra rope just with one line. Now I'll place that rope on the middle of the, I'll place it at the middle of the base to measure out another plate just with one strand of ashoke. After doing that, you can see I measure it with the bigger plate. Now I'm going to sew with my needle and thread to hold it together. I'll start from the middle, sew the left and the right part all around. As you can see, I'll do the same for the big plates also. After sewing the small plates, I'll also sew the big plates. The same way I did for this. I'm through with the plates making. Now I'm going to be joining the plates on the base. I'll start with the small plates. Make sure it adds to be equal and place it at the on top of the base. Arrange, make sure it's properly arranged. Now I'm going to use my needle and thread to join one part first. I'll join this part first start from the middle and join it to the end you can see the way i cut it can lay perfectly well on the base now i'll shift it out to the edge leaving about four lines outward push it out you can see the way it's laying now i'm going to sew down with my needle and thread of it after joining that side i'll cut out a piece 
about six inches in length and five inches wide i'll cut it out and stop i'll turn around after turning around i'm going to use a rope of about 13 inches in length and 1.5 inch width to wrap around this piece you can see i'm making a bow tie after wrapping around i was so i'll join together with the needle and thread at that point where i wrapped now i'm going to push in with my scissors at the middle of the base in between the base and the plate now i'm going to secure it with my needle and thread so it won't fall off after securing i'm going to cover up the other part i'm going to join the other part of the plate to the piece you can see i'm true with the joining of the smaller plates now i'm going to add this bigger plates on top of the smaller plates like this I'm going to be very very careful to make sure it is properly done and neat as you can see now I'm going to start joining from the middle I'm going to join from under the base add to you can see I'm joining it from under push my needle from under the be strong now I put it through the plate I'm going to do that all round till the plate is properly secured to the base can see it's very neat I'll do it properly and secure it at the end So guys, this is the finished look. I'm done joining it together. Thank you for watching today's video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much guys.